Welcome back to my mental health and crime channel. My name is Hoodie London. This is for entertainment purpose only. This is the case of the Idaho quadruple murders that took place on the 13th of November, 2022. To start with, this is for entertainment purpose only. I came across something I've been observing for a couple of days now, and I've gone through the grub truck video plenty of times. But something caught my attention, and the more deeper I looked into it, it started to make sense. Please pay attention to the picture above. If you notice, there's a guy with a black tracksuit. The guy was looking straight ahead. Not the guy on his mobile device, not the guy standing next to him, but the guy behind in the black tracksuit. Now, keep on paying attention to that guy because he's, he's crucial. He's very important to what I'm going to be talking about. Next to him, on the right, you can see a brown jacket and something white, a white hoodie. That is no other than John Jack Showalter Jr. You notice that him and John Jack Showalter are texting each other. They're standing right behind each other and texting each other. When he sends him a text message, John is mobile device flashes up the light goes on and then when John replies to him the other one focuses on his mobile device it's been going on for a while then what you notice is that the guy moves does Jack John Schwalter moves to the other side with Maddie and Kaylee he's obviously following them now, what is important is pay attention to the picture downstairs. If you look at where the young man and the young girl are kneeling and sitting together, basically, what you notice is you will see a reflection of a car. That is very important. You will notice the two guys who are standing behind number nine. The skinny guy with the cap on and the brown jacket, he's the guy who chucks his food in the bin without even opening his food. That is a red flag. The guy next to him has glasses on. They both pretended when they came inside that they did not know each other now. They both are waiting for their food. They're standing in the corner. Maddie and Kaylee wait for the food for a while. John Showalter is talking to Joe Vito. Joe Vito, the large guy, you can see he's flashing his Coca-Cola can. They all are up to something in this clip. It gets more interesting. As soon as the girls leave the grub truck and go towards the Uber ride, or wherever they go, they go towards the left. We see John Jack Showalter throw up his arms or his hand like he's upset. And he goes straight down. That's what we think. He doesn't go straight down. He goes straight down and then he goes to the right. Now, when he goes to the right, apparently he goes behind. And when he goes behind, you will see that car that I told you you will see in the light. I'll show you when the car comes. The car starts moving, starts driving off as soon as John Showalter goes to that area. So that lift or that ride is waiting for John Showalter. As soon as the car drives off, even before the car drives off, you see John Showalter, the guy in the tracksuit, would be kneeling next to that black window. And there's a woman who is with him, she'll come soon in this video. And you'll see two young men come in. One has a blue jacket on, a blue hoodie. He's tall, he has bushy eyebrows. And another one has on a black outfit. 
He has on white shoes. He kind kind of looks to me like David Lodge, but I'm not sure. They look like one of those young guys. As soon as those two come in, this is before Maddie and Kaylee leave. They both look at Ma Maddie and Kaylee, but Kaylee is busy on her phone and Maddie isn't paying attention that they're looking at her. Those two guys, when they walk in, they go towards the window, they pass by the guy in the tracksuit and they nod their head towards him. Then they go and stand on the upper picture. They'll be standing towards there. They'll be talking, laughing and all that. By that time, John Jack Walter looks at them and he leaves and he gets into the car. The shocking thing is the car is a white color car. I think that's important. A big red flag. You'll notice another thing behind number nine, the two guys that I was talking about, the guy with the brown jacket who chucks his food and the other guy, they both bump into each other when they're collecting the food. The guy with the brown jacket and the cap, when he walks off, he chucks his food in the bin without even opening his food. And then he goes straight down. But if you see straight down the road, you'll have to go to the grub truck full lengthy video and watch it properly. You'll have to stop when that guy is walking and you see as soon as he goes to the end of the road, a car comes and drives off. I have a feeling he's in that car because him and the guy car have both gone. When you notice that, you notice that car is white too. So I don't know if it's the same white car that took this guy with the brown jacket and if it's the same white car that took John Jack Showalter. It could be the same car or it could be a different white car. These men need to be investigated completely. I'm surprised that everyone over here was ruled out. I always knew and I've always paid attention to the grub truck video and the Banfield, B-A-N-D, Banfield video, the alcohol minor video, because that video too, I've explained to you all, one of the men is wearing female clothes. They do not stop for, stop for the police. You can watch my other clips about the Banfield. I have a feeling that the Banfield video guys and the four figures running and these guys are all walking, working in a plot to do whatever organized crime, whatever they're doing. This is all allegedly. Now I'm going to play it, play it and just pay attention, please. He still hasn't come in yet. You see him coming in now. Who do you guys there? You see he looks at him. They look at each other. They pretend they don't know each other. Now follow from there what is happening. Hoodie guy has taken off his mobile device. The guy looks at him. They say a word or two to each other. He must have said just look straight out ahead I'll text you. What was going on there? Just follow upstairs. Do not bother about the downstairs. They're texting each other. Kaylee goes to this other side. Now hoodie guy walks off with his phone, he puts his phone in his pocket. So watch that guy, it's very important. You can see, look at him shaking his legs and all, he looks very stressed. That I'm saying it out of confidence as a therapist. Now that woman who walks in is involved too. She and the man are pretending that they don't know each other. But soon they're going to be sitting with each other and talking. 
John Vito, Joe Vito and his Coca-Cola can is involved. I don't know what he's doing, if he's selling over there, if he's doing whatever allegedly, but it doesn't look right. And that's not my problem. I just want to figure out what happened to these four victims. Now look at this guy, very important character. He's shaking his legs. He's looking at Maddie and Kaylee. He takes off his phone. He looks like he's stressed. There's some plan going on. He has, look at his legs. I do understand some people may say it's a bit cold and all. That's why he's just stretching his legs. I don't buy that. Because you'll understand what I'm saying. The more you pay attention to what's going on here. He orders his food. I know it's a full house, but it's soon going to get empty. And then you'll see more observations going on. You can observe it more. He's paying with his card. The woman who comes right after him, she's talking on a, I think she's talking on a what phone or something. Or I don't know if she's sneezing. Okay. The guy has gone out. You can't see him for now because he's gone and he's, he's sitting in that dark corner. Hoodie guy is standing there. They're not talking to each other. Now pay attention behind hoodie guy is that guy with the brown jacket. Sorry guys, I have a... I'm, there's a bit of weather changes in London so my voice seems to be really going... But I really need to do this because I really believe it's important. Now watch that guy behind with that shiny belt or something. Jovito is covering him. So I'll focus on the down part because this is where it is important. You see behind, that's where the guy is sitting. Pay attention to this part. And watch the mirror behind. Maddie and Kaylee are just talking there. But watch the mirror behind because you see a car coming. And that car has been waiting for a while. So it can't be the private light. You see the car now. See the car? You see the red lights? Hoodie guy is up to no good. He's here for some reason. I think that car is coming back. It's going to do a U-turn. Or maybe it still hasn't arrived. But just pay attention, please. Yeah, you see the car? The, the light is blinking, I think. I really believe all these people are involved here, especially this couple carrying each other up and all, Joe Vito, all of these people, they all are involved. Allegedly. Kaylee and Maddie are there. Kaylee's texting someone. I don't know if she's texting the, the Uber driver. I'm sure she feels uncomfortable to be here with Showalter. Showalter keeps on looking behind him because the guy with the black track suit is sitting there. They all are here on the watch, watch out on the girls, basically. Yeah, do you see that light blinking? 
I don't know if, yeah, there it is. You see the car? Pay attention to the car, please. The car's still blinking. The light doesn't go off. It's parked. It's waiting for someone. Maybe that's a text. Yeah, this is important too. This is the guy with the brown. Pay attention to him. He got his brand new food. He and his friend bump into each other. I don't know if they exchange something. Look at this. And then he goes his way. Now he's important too. Because what, what happens with him? He's chucked his food. And he's gone to the end of the road. You can see his legs. Now watch, a car comes and picks him up too. A white car. I'll rewind it. You see him there without his food. He chucked his food. I hope you can see his legs. It's really difficult, but just pay attention to when the white car comes. I hope you can see. The light you see there is a white car. I hope you can see the white car. You see the edge of the white car. Here's the white car. Yeah. It's three hours and 50 minutes. Start from there to see that guy jumping into a white car. I wanted you all to pay attention. I reminded it to the car that comes here. So since I reminded it, the guy that jumps in a white car is still standing there behind Showalter. I wanted to show you the car that is waiting for John Jack Showalter. It's a white car too. Pay attention. So I don't know if it's the same white car. White car. It could be very possible because these guys are standing next to each other. All of them are pretending they don't know each other. Look at the black glass mirror. And look at the black doors next to it because all the reflection will come from there. So these two guys, see, you see the car. Do you see the car? You see the redness of the car? The car is stopped. It's waiting. The back light is on. This is the guy I'm telling you all. To watch, he will get into a white car too. So I think it's two separate white cars. One of them could be actually innocent, but I really believe that we need, everything needs to be investigated here. There he is. I wonder sometimes if he could be Hannah's brother, one of these two men, but I'm not sure. So you can see him. You see the white car. Watch him. Yeah, you see the white car now. The vapor spot, but you can see a white car at the edge. I showed you all. And I mean, see, you see it driving off. See, I reminded him back. He's walking to the edge of the road and then you'll see a small glimpse. Yeah, there's the white car, if you can see it. I think I have a clearer picture with the white car there. I'll put it on my next clip. Let's go back to John Showalter. So that guy, don't be surprised when you see him again behind John Showalter. He's actually already gone. I just rewinded it. But I want to show you what John Showalter is up to. So look at the black mirrors. You see the car has come. You see that car? Pay attention to the red 
back of the car it stopped the lights have stopped but you still see that the lights are on now here is very important because pay attention to that car and pay attention to what's going to happen here these two are up to no good the guy in the brown jacket throws his food I'll show you quickly there he's gone with his food without his food and the white car is waiting for him so it can't be the same car because you can clearly see see he passes you see the light of a car now I'll come back to the picture here that red car is still blinking and waiting I was wondering all the time who's that car waiting for it's allegedly waiting for John Showalter And that guy who was texting John Showalter with the black tracksuit and the blue shoes, he's sitting there behind the tall guy. So he's waiting for whatever he's waiting. And he keeps on looking at John Showalter, so I think they work together, allegedly. You can see the car still waiting, the light is on. It's going to get much easier now because these people move a bit. Now you see the car waiting. See, Maddie's food is going to come soon. Let me show you quickly. The car's still there. And there's that guy with the blue shoes on and the black tracksuit. Pay attention now, the girls are going to leave. Now look at the guy who comes in. Very important. He looks at the girls and then he goes and he talks to the guy in the tracksuit. And the second man who comes talks to John Showalter. They all are giving each other a signal. We have to come back here to show you all what's going on here. The car is still blinking. The girls are going to leave soon. The girls go. Joe Vito tells him. Walter gets upset. He throws his hands in the air and he leaves. Now watch where he goes. Watch he's going straight down and watch where he goes. He goes to the right. Now pay attention to the car here, that car will move, see? So the car took John Showalter and it's a white car. Now I need to explain something. You see the where the car light is on? That is the black mirror, but you'll have to look at the other door next to it. If you look at the other door next to it, when John Showalter is walking, you will see the car moving and the car is white. Pay attention, the girls are going to go. The car is still standing there. You've seen the girls have gone. John Schwartz is upset. He's gone straight ahead. You see that car moved? And look at the other window. The car is going to move. You see the car moving? Now look at the other window. 
It's a white car. There's the car. John Walter is gone. You see that light? It's a white car. I'll try and find it again. John Walter just got upset. He's gone. Now pay attention to that car. It's still standing there. The reflection of the car. It's a white car. Do you see that? Now the guy with the tracksuit is still stand, sitting there. John Showalter is gone. So I've rewinded it back. You see the car behind with the red lights. The reason I rewinded it is I need you all to take another look at another set of guys that walk in. Look at, pay attention at how they look at Maddie and Kaylee. And then they pass by, they walk behind Showalter and they, they walk towards the guy in the tracksuit. They nod the head, one of them nods the head. He's wearing another, he's another one wearing a black jacket and a black pant and white shoes. And then right after him comes a very tall guy with a blue jumper, a jumper with a hoodie and a zip. And that guy you see really close because he comes close to the camera. Those two guys, just my instinct gave me a really bad vibe because they all are contacting each other, giving each other eye contact. So I don't really know what's going on here. I hope you can help me to check it. But if you're wanted later on to rewind it, go to the Grub Truck video and start watching it from... I believe it's 3.45 till you see the guy with the tracksuit coming in and hoodie guy and him are texting each other and standing next to each other. And watch it right up to these guys coming that I'm talking about. But you can see now, John Showalter's here, the girls are here, the guy in the black tracksuit is there, this guy in the white shirt and the cap is moving very strange to very suspicious so you all can have a look for yourself i believe they all are involved most of them are involved here on whatever is going on this is right before maddie and kaylee leave from the grub truck so whatever happened happened after here the banfield video is something you should look at i made a lot of clips about that but I always said that Grub Truck and Banfield are very important. When you analyze these people, they're up to no good. But I'm really shocked that John Showalter jumped into a white car. And the guy who threw his food jumped into a white car. Wasn't it a white Hyundai Elantra that is in question? that Brian Koberger is being accused for. Guys, it could be possible. There could be a chance that Brian Koberger was the driver waiting outside. Although, I do not believe that at all. But anything is possible. Since Brian Koberger said, did you catch the others? If he said that, that means others are involved and he's involved. But I can't talk about that because I really don't know where Brian Koberger was and if he was even at the crop truck. But I believe that these white trucks, white cars moving, picking up John Showalter and picking up that guy in the brown jacket, they are most likely Hyundai Elantra's 2011 to 2013. I believe that because those are the ones in search that the police were searching for. So watch the guys, pay attention to the guy, two guys who come be from behind. You can see the car still waiting. The guys that are I'm going to, the guys I'm asking you all to look at are going to come very soon. 
The girls don't notice them actually. That's the strange thing. Yeah, look at that guy. That guy is important with the white shoes. He's talking to the guy in the tracksuit. And that guy in the blue is important too. Now you see John Showalter leaving. And the girls leaving. While John Showalter is laughing, the girls leave. And then he gets upset. He goes straight down. You can see the car is still standing there. There, the girls have gone. Now what, John Showalter? John Showalter looks at the guy in the blue and black who've just come in. He's gone straight. And now you see that car moving. As soon as John Showalter goes there, that car's lights go on. You see that? It's a white car. There. Now let me come up to these people. Watch what's going on here. The guy with the blue jumper and the guy with the black jumper. They will come a bit closer, so I'll just wait. That whole group is suspicious. But the guy with the long hand caps, I don't know about him and the guy in white, because they came from another direction. But they all seem to be talking to each other. They know each other. There's something going on there, definitely. I wonder what that one has in his bag or his port. Yeah, now look at the one in the white shoes. He's the one who was saying, nodding his head to the guy who was texting John Showalter. So these people are working together. Look at, pay attention to the tall guy, yeah, who's jumping up and down and kicking his legs. Since him and his friend with the white shoes, you can see him dancing. Those two are important characters because as soon as they came, they gave, they nudged their head towards John Showalter. They said hi to the guy in the tracksuit and John Showalter ran after the girls, but in a different direction and in a white car. So this is how he looks. Here's, does anyone in Ido Moscow know him? Allegedly. I'm not saying he's involved, but he knows what's going on. And isn't it strange that he has bushy eyebrows, just in case Dylan Mortison was telling the truth as a witness? Didn't she say the person was six foot? This is a very tall man with bushy eyebrows. I wonder if he's driving a white car too. There's that woman who's involved with the guy in the tracksuit. So I'm sure the grub truck knows these people. They look like they're regulars. There's the other guy who came with the tall guy. He's standing with the girl. This is the last part. You can see those four guys, the guy in the blue, the tall guy, and the guy in the black with the white shoes. They all seem to be... You can pay attention to that group that I was talking about. They're watching something on their phone, and they keep on looking at it and jumping around. And obs I don't know what they're doing, but it's worth watching. Let me summarize everything I've said. Keep on watching the downstairs when John Showalter is waiting for the girls 
a white car is waiting for him. He goes straight down, he goes to the right. That white car has been waiting for a while. And then the car moves as soon as John Showalter moves. So that is clear that John Showalter went after Madison and Kaylee. May they rest in peace. That is something to investigate. I don't understand how the grub truck was ruled out. I don't understand how Banfield alcohol minor stop was ruled out. All the usual suspects are running around here. That's all I will say. If I'm wrong, please let me know. If you all see something, leave it in the comment. And pay attention to the other two guys, the one who chucks his food, because he jumps into a white car too. And it can't be the same white car, because when the white car comes to pick up the skinny guy who chucks his food, another car is waiting for John Showalter. And that happens to be white or silver. Another last thing I wanted to end with. Didn't Jack D, Kaylee's former boyfriend, have a white Hyundai Elantra that he allegedly sold after one week? What is going on here? Please like, share and subscribe. Rest in peace to the victims, condolence to the parents, may justice be served and may a proper investigation be done on the grub truck and the band field. Because this is wrong. Police are police everywhere. I've never seen young boys walking away from the police when they were told to stop in the Banfield video. That doesn't happen in the UK. That doesn't happen anywhere in the world. Even if the undercover police, he put out his torch, he had to run after them. So my question is, what did they chuck? They could have chucked weapons. They could have chucked evidence. They could have chucked a bloody t-shirt. We don't know what they chucked. They could have chucked a glove. I don't understand what is happening. We saw even clearly that the police came, detec detectives came next day, checked Maddie's black jacket, checked the pockets allegedly, and threw it back in the bushes. If Brian Koberger is behind this, then he deserves the death penalty. But if he's not behind this, they need to properly investigate because it doesn't add up. You never know, maybe John Showalter is walk, working with BK. Or maybe BK is innocent. Whatever is happening here is not right. And I'm sure the people who run the grub truck are aware of it. And Joe Vito needs to stop lying. He says that he got to meet John Showalter that night. They're busy giving each other... High fives. They're bowing down for each other. They're laughing. They, Oh my God, they're giving each other handshakes. And Joe, Joe Vito said himself, we were laughing at the girls because they were zombies and because they were drunk. Joe Vito, if you're paying attention, have respect for young women. You said you have a daughter. Maddie and Kaylee are somebody's daughter's shoe. Y'all are supposed to be men prove, uh, pr uh, protecting harm's way from these young girls. This really upsets me as a therapist and as a mother. This is unfair. This needs to be investigated. All those guys, look at them standing and watching something. For all you know, we've heard that everyone was watching things they weren't supposed to be watching on their phone. So what was going on? Was Eaton and Zana already in harm's way? What are these men watching? What are they laughing about? Why are they texting each other? What is these codes they're giving each other? Why are they coming in bunches and groups? Why is Joe Vita pretending that he doesn't know people? Why are you flashing a Coca-Cola can, Joe Vito? This ain't only the zombie place. This is more than zombies. 
these are the usual suspect please like share and subscribe and i'm sorry my viewers i'm a bit upset if i raise my voice but i think justice deserves to be served for these four young people who didn't need to lose their life in such a manner nobody needs to lose their life whatever is going on i've always said is in this clip in the grub truck and in the ban field alcohol minor video and i wish i could be a fly on the wall to have seen where it all started from the corner club jack d wasn't sleeping allegedly i do not believe that isn't it strange that jack d is their neighbor 2 minutes away john shawalter is the neighbor on the other side inan harsh is the neighbor on the behind the banfield guys are 3 minutes away from the girls house these victims didn't have a chance somebody is hiding something somebody knows something let's find out what it is